today, we have nearly 30 million new customers. We never had. We never looked for. We never searched for. They arrived because of an m revolution. Today, we migrate money into the wallet of m mm. and earn a fee. And we bring the money back into the banking ecosystem. If you think about how much money moves on m wallet, it's roughly 25% of GDP or 30% of GDP. Yeah. That money finally comes to the financial institutions. So we doubled the size of the bank industry from 2008 to today, largely because of the revolution of mobile. Mm. So we can say no. We were the first people to say you will never work with m And sometimes that is because you're looking at our mind. I put it to you today that the greatest benefactor, the greatest beneficiary for the investment in the digital revolution for mobile device. Mm. And you can check, why are we so much ahead in Kenya, across the world? It's because we found a way of doing collaboration. Yeah. yeah? In other markets, I don't think we are. And today we're talking about telecom and banks. I am sure that there will be other industries that can build collaborations. Banks and insurance companies, telecos and insurance companies. Because if you look at the profile of the millennium of the millennials today mm-hmm. they are largely digital they are very connected they are very global mm-hmm. make no mistake they understand themselves much better than some of us correct we may be a little bit analog mm-hmm. but the way they see services from a bank is the way they access a service from ship advisor the way they see a service from facebook and from whatsapp if we are not the design the content the delivery the speed the look and feel is not the same they can as well get money from Facebook. Yeah. I can guarantee you. I spoke to my twelve-year-old daughter, and in our view, going to going to a bank is something that she does not see. If the bank delivers a solution for her on the mobile device, that she the way yeah. it delivered music, why would she bother going to? Why? What mean? I want to go to China, and I speak about China now because that's the biggest investor we have in the continent. And right from your palm of your phone, you know the city, you know the town. You know where to go. You know the directions. You don't have to ask anybody. Yeah. You even get a translator, right, to tell you. Why will a bank not deliver the services to you where you are for the new millennials? Mm. And that, for me, is the right there is the opportunity. So I, I see that if we don't change our model as banks, and we're leading, we're in the forefront of leading, and that's why I prefer a partnership. Mm. We will not be successful across the continent. That's all for this week. Don't forget that if you enjoy it, then do give us a review wherever you get your podcasts. It will help others find the show. Thanks for listening.